Hello there, Dragon Ball Infinity. I am your DBI admin, Eichenbahn, and uh, this is going to be kind of a fun video. This is gonna be, I think this is going to be fun. Um, I don't want to show what I've been working on today uh, because it, it could be an idea for something like a little bit later on. Maybe we'll find some use for this uh, at some point in the, in the future. But... Um, we had this fun conversation. I, I don't remember the exact circumstances as to how we started talking about this, but for some reason earlier today, we were talking about the idea of like space weed, and uh, you know, very in the last like I think it's like two or three years, we we have kind of laxed our uh, censorship on the idea of marijuana. Uh, because, you know, Rendo's Canadian, and, you know, like, it's, it's a thing. You know, like, I'm not promoting drug use of any kind, but, like, you know, we just, I just want to mention that, because, like, even though a lot of us partake in it and find it harmless, like, you know, we, we started to kind of joke around the idea, like, maybe there's a DBI space weed, or uh, Dubi was the one that... Um, the one that Rendo really liked, and I really like the name Ultra Chronic, uh, but I was playing around with this idea, this idea, and I really, really loved it. I loved it so much that instead of like just talking to Rendo directly, I talked about it on like OOC because like if players get excited, you know, that's more likely to get Rendo excited and like maybe give in a little bit sometimes. Uh, but unfortunately, the concept was based around. This very random, very obscure, like just all like this. This happened today, like just out of nowhere. One of the one of the players online. I think it it, it was either Pixel or Dresdian or uh, Dresdian or it was it was it was a player I don't normally hear a lot from. But they're like, I just want to meditate forever. Uh, and I was sitting there thinking about it. It's like actually, I can make you be able to meditate forever, like for sure. 100% I can make that happen because we have a we have a command in the game called MP drain which is something that Rendo built for me like a long time ago and I think Beerus uses it and sometimes that's why when you're fighting Beerus he'll like chop you and then you'll power up because your energy drains and then basically like you don't have enough energy to maintain suppress which is like his own bug altogether and so you power up you kill beerus and then beerus slays you because of it but there's a there is an mp drain ability and so and it goes off of percent so it doesn't go off of uh like a, a value it goes off of percent so if i do mp drain 10 it drains you by 10 percent of your energy if i do mp drain 100 it would drain you by 100 percent of your energy so you can start to see where this started to come through but i was like when he mentioned that i was like okay actually i could make like super meditate items like items that when you wear them there's a very there's a very high possibility that they're going to drain your energy which means that you can keep meditating for a long time and meditating is pretty powerful as a concept on DBI, like, for late-game characters, it's so much easier to just, like, burn out all of your energy and then meditate than it is to, you know, spar or do anything else. And uh, and so I was like, okay, so if you had an entire item set that instead of, like, instead of increasing your focus energy so that you can stats, you know, for hours or stat until you link dead or something... I could have an item that drains your energy so you can meditate and just keep getting more and more and more power level off of that without having to enter even more commands, which is, like, boring, but it's interesting to me as to, like, the values and the numbers and things as someone who, like, pokes around with this stuff. But then, I don't know, I, again, I don't know what really set it off. We started talking about the idea of, like, space weed, and I came up with, like, some really interesting concepts based off of what Kansu had done with the, uh, how do I put it, uh, with the, there's an item in Neon Abyss called the, uh, called these like Neon Bandages or something, and the bandages heal you over time using A-bits and Q-bits and stuff, and so once they run out, like the item is completely gone, and so I was building this concept of like, w could we get, 
could we could we grow space weed you know and you would you know like one part of the item would be to grow the space weed and then the item itself would allow you to do the meditate stuff which would give it you know like this value to you know you'd buy space weed from people and it would be kind of cool uh and it would be like a, sort of an interestingly like, idle mechanic right and i really like the idea and so i started like really playing with it and like figuring out what i could actually do with it and the thing is something that i had never really thought to do before is that so the hard part is i wanted space weed to be something that you have to plant in the ground right like it, it's a an, it's an object that has to be on the ground whenever you use it and it has to grow and so there there's a couple checks that i would need brindo to have actually made for me in order for it to work the way that i envisioned it uh, the most prominent one being like how long someone has been logged in so for instance like your space weed is going to grow and become like i broke it down to like three different tiers of space weed where like you know, the first tier was, like, if you're logged in from anywhere from, like, an hour to two hours, you could harvest, you know, like, the lowest strain of space weed. And then the second tier was anywhere between, like, two and, like, four hours. And then the third, like, the highest, the best space weed would be, like, if you were logged in for, like, you know, anywhere from eight to ten hours of gameplay, then you'd get the, the best of the space weed. But something that I had never really considered before until this moment, and this might be something that I use for a lot of other stuff, like I really had not thought of this, but the problem with objects in smog is that they can only interact with a character, a character. But the, pro the thing I had I have really like not thought about is that technically a mob is a character. And so... I came up with all these invisible mobs that would spawn based off of space weed. And so you would plant it, and instead of you holding it in your inventory, the mob would be holding an item in its inventory, and then it would check the room that it's in for the space weed. And so you don't need to actually be there. You can flip around the run, you can instant transmission somewhere else, and like go and kill somebody. Like if you're Cytokin and you're killing Koshoro, you fucking vampire. Um, but, uh, so the mob could be keeping the A bits instead of the player. And so as long as the mob is there, even if the player logs off, the, the weed could keep growing and then you could log back on a few hours later and grab your weed. But, you know, another player could come steal it. And I thought that was just like fucking great. And I don't know if it would actually work. I've not tested this. This is all theoretical. But I think I came up with, I think I got a pretty good system for this. And I really liked it. I really, really like it. I, I think maybe we could visit it sometime. And probably the idea of it giving you the meditate stuff is a little bit too much. And that would have been really boring to do it. But it could be for like senzu beans. You know, like you could grow your own senzu beans. And maybe like stronger versions of senzu beans. And like you know like an idea that i just kind of had tonight at the end of the night like okay what if you could grow a sensu bean that gives you like 150 health or a sensu bean that gives you 200 health or something so that you could uh you could use them for you could use them for pks or like you know like you could make you could if you become a sensu bean farmer you could have like a really strong like you know you could could be more powerful some way or or you know like maybe it doubles your stats or like stat gains or something but um like i think there's something we could use this for and i like it was so fun it was so fun to build it and again i don't know if it would actually work i don't know if a bits and qubits and things will work on mobs but i think they would i i don't have any reason to suspect they wouldn't i could be wrong we might find out that that's completely the nonsense and I, I might have to like completely redo the idea if it doesn't but if it did uh i've i've got like a a pretty cool idea here um and i really really liked it and um and like you know this video like i'm, I'm talking about these like this crazy concept or something this crazy like fun thing but like 
This is why I like to build on DBI. This is why I like to build with Smog, even though it is such a piece of crap. Uh, is because, like, sometimes, sometimes it is so fun to work within the limitations of it. And, and it's why I love this game. It's why I love DBI. It's why I like being an administrator here. It's why I like, like, tinking around with stuff. I love to... F this... I, I, I don't know who suggested it. I don't know who you were. I, I'm sorry, but I forgot. I, I think it was either Pixel or like Destrion or, or someone mentioned this. And it just, I spent the entire day at work, like just fiddling around with this. And, you know, again, completely untested, didn't put it into play. You know, like I figured Rindo would not want me to actually do it. And, um, but I still, I still kept dicking around with it. And, I think I got something. I, I don't know what we can use it for, but this is, I'm gonna find a way. I'm gonna find a way to get this to get this working because I've I've really liked it. It was it was good. It was good. Um. Anyway, uh, I don't know. I've been in the mood to make more videos, and this one this was just a fun day for me on Dragon Ball Infinity, and I thought you guys would be interested to kind of hear about how it would work. And maybe we can find something that it could be used for, and we'll see if it even like actually, you know, like I I might just make it myself just to see if it works, but uh, can't guarantee that it'll ever actually hit game side. But I thought it was really fun.